Hello everyone, I'm Talox Jorisk and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a lot of awesome content coming to the channel and some information on games you may want to begin paying special attention to. But before I get too ahead of myself, can I really just re really quick, just re can, can I just say, what in the cinnamon toast fuck is going on over at Ubisoft? I mean seriously! I expected that we would hear some, maybe a little bit of news about Avatar Frontiers of Pandora today because they, you know, they announced it like two years ago. But I had no idea they were planning on telling us anything about their upcoming open world Star Wars game, Star Wars Outlaws. I mean seriously, showing off both the announcement cinematic and the gameplay within two days of each other just shows that all of their tightly kept secrets are in the perfect hands. If you're a fan of what I plan to talk about in this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And be sure to hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Talox. So rolling off the segue that the Ubisoft Forward provided today, I do plan on heavily covering both Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and Star Wars Outlaws on the channel, both in the form of news-related content and actual playthroughs. I will say though, you'll probably see more content out of Avatar than Star Wars, because as much as being Kay Vess and experiencing her story definitely seems entertaining in a galaxy far, far away, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora will allow me to have full customization of my character, Andy Kran, which sold me before I even heard anything else about the game. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora will be an open-world, first-person action-adventure game where you play as a Navi child who has walked both worlds between the RDA and the clans of Pandora. You'll be able to tame various fauna of Pandora's western frontier, ranging from Ikran to dire horses, craft and customize your character's outfits and weapons, cook special meals, and fight the RDA in a manner no different than the sheer badassery of the first film. Think Breath of the Wild, but with tameable dragons and guns, and you're set for life. Star Wars Outlaws, although being more focused on a particular individual than the Star Wars galaxy in its entirety, does include some insane unique benefits of its own as well, that has also got my eye drawn to it. Ranging between crime syndicate reputations, wanted systems like something out of GTA, and seamless piloting from speeder to starship from the ground straight to space with full manual control of hyperdrive the entire time? Now this is pod racing! Plus Nyx is too cute to ignore, I mean come on, it's too cute. I'm sure you've noticed I've been doing a lot more live streams as of late as well, and I plan for that to be the case in the future. Most, if not all, funny moment videos and edited playthroughs may actually be done live, then edited and transitioned for entertainment in final rendered videos for my less available followers at those times. These streams can range through a lot of different games and moods, between just chatting streams, Magic the Gathering streams with Andy and Janelle, even playing strategy games and allowing you guys to join the fun with games like Aliens Dark Descent. I know the rebrand for some of you has been a little jarring, I mean, come on, I totally get it. And I hope that you all feel comforted to know that I have plans for games that I've covered in the past. Mainly Dead by Daylight, Five Nights at Freddy's, and Aliens Fireteam Elite won't go forgotten. There will be plenty more content coming in the near future for all of these exceptional games. Let me know in the comments below what content you're most excited about to see covered on this channel. Or if I didn't mention anything that you yourself are particularly interested in, let me know what I can look into to change that. And of course, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye